Hi, um, just before lunch, about to make some soup. Now, um, a couple of days ago, we had a face-to-face -face class um, down at Hyatt Bowls Club. And in that class, I made a recipe, which I um, will find for you on Cookie Do. So just hold on. So this is what I'm about to make. But what I did make the other day was um, uh, um, crab head, it's called. Crab head, layered chicken, eggs, and salmon. So this recipe here, basically, you end up with some beautifully shredded chicken, or second speed, four reverse, you cook, cook your chicken, you cook eggs, and you cook salmon and you get stock all at the same time. Now, when I was making this, this actually with your stock, it's got onion and garlic and then herbs and stuff like that. So then you can use that as a stock for whatever you want. However, as I said, I wanted to actually make this soup, which I am making for lunch. And so what I did with that previous recipe was in the stock, I put in, I didn't put the lemongrass, but I put chili and, um, and garlic and um, ginger. So my stock is sort of already made. So I'm gonna stop sharing that and show you what I'm gonna do now. So that is my stock left from the other night. So you can see it's full of all sorts of bits and pieces, which is um, really yummy. And we'll go to the recipe and I will show you, get this out of the way, um, how I'm gonna work that in. All right. So start cooking, two garlic cloves, ginger, put obviously going to chop them and then going to fry them up. Now all that's been done already. So I've got the chili here, which I already have in, in, in my stock. Um, and that's all going to cook for one minute. Chicken stock, well, I had chicken stock paste in the stock that I made the other night in that, um, and then 600 grams of water. So I am going to put this stock in, and it's probably more than it says, more than 600, I'm thinking. It's, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm putting a whole lot in because it's all really good stuff. So I've got 900 grams of stock from there. Pretty good. So, so what, what you could do, if you do that prep ahead, you keep your stock, you use it for something like this. You flavor the stock according to what you want in it and what you're going to make with it afterwards. You've also got the hard boiled eggs. You've also got the chicken. You've got the salmon. Now, just a tip, if you do that, use that recipe, when you're using the salmon, the salmon is on a tray in the Varoma. Your eggs are in the Varoma and your chicken's in the simmering basket. Um, put, put some baking paper, wet it, wring it out, and put it on that tray. And then your salmon juices won't drip down and sort of contaminate your chicken stock. Okay, so 400 grams of coconut milk. I'm not going to put as much as that in because I had more stock. Here we go. All right, so what I'll do with this, if I've got nothing to use it straight away, I will freeze that, another 200 grams in there. 450 grams of chicken. So I have actually sliced the chicken up already. Um, so I'll put the chicken in. There we go. Oh, two tablespoons of fish sauce. I'll just put my tablespoon in there. Let's get one ready. All right. Now, of course, I didn't have to use all of that stock. I could have kept half of it for another lot of soup, but you know, I might as well. Use it all in this. Okay. Lemongrass, and I've done the wrong thing. I've chopped it up, but never mind. That's okay. Raw sugar. 
teaspoon of raw sugar. Cut their lime leaves, four of those. Lid's going on 20 minutes, 90 degrees on reverse because we don't want that chicken shredded up and it's speed stir. So the very first turn on your filling. All right, so that's going to cook for 20 minutes and that's going to be my soup made. That's so just to show you how you can use that stock, um, make that stock and that prep ahead and then use it in another recipe. And I'm looking forward to lunch. <laughs>